Kid Cudi Indie Cud Review. After last year's rock crossover project with Wizard, Kid Cudi returns to his roots with not a third Man on the Moon album, but with Indie Cud, the spin off. He produced the whole album, and you can hear it, it's coherent. The sounds, just fair amount of off kilter, you'll hear some Kid Cudi sounds really good over these. He knows what he can do, like the bass on the hook of the rather fine smoker anthem, Just What I Am featuring King Chip, or the original guitar sounds. You get some typically strong Kid Cudi, half rap, half sung tracks like Unfuckwithable, King Wizard, or Lord of the Sad and Lonely. Sounds just like Man on the Moon material. Added emphasis on production side is very apparent. He has three instrumental interludes and some bridges. Songs like Bees, he takes the back seat letting the RZA handle the better part of the track's vocals. Just being on the boards with hard-hitting kick drums and finishing up with a couple of vocals of his own. He also has a couple of rap features, like Kendrick Lamar on Solo Dolo Part 2. Kendrick Lamar is pretty much the strongest cosign you can get at the moment. And hey, he put his full in. I can't hate. Or ASAP Rocky on Brothers. It's also a rather fine hip-hop track, I gotta say. But this is where the album falls apart for me. I feel like he just doesn't have more than this. He has a lot of filler that weighs the whole album down, like Young Caddies, Girls featuring Too Short, or Mad Solar. It, they just drag this album out without any real sense of reason to be included. Red Eye is a song where Kid Cudi is again on the boards by Hane, and it's so typically indie rock inspired that I don't know, not know why it is here, nor do I think it fits on the album. Actually, I don't even think that it's a good song. Cuddy proves that he can carry songs on his own, and he can make really good production for himself, and sometimes his features. This is a unique blend of sounds, and it's fully intact. He's, King, he's Kid Cuddy, he always sounds a little bit off-kilter. L- lyrically, he's there where he's always been. I mean, Kid Cudi fans will probably gobble this one up, 3 out of 5.